What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, more details have been revealed about the possible showdown between 8th Division legendary iconic superstar world champion Filipino boxer who is currently the WBA welterweight world champion Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao uh, as reports surface that he will be taking on undefeated rising Mexican lightweight world, world champion title contender King Rob Ryan Garcia superstar boxer. With that said, uh, Ryan Garcia dad has revealed some more details regarding this possible showdown. He stated that he would like this fight to take place in April or May. He said it's definitely um, looking like it's going to happen. He said that everybody, all parties involved have agreed to just about everything. There's little details that they're still working out, minor details that they're still working out um, because they have some stipulations that they want to be um, put in place for this showdown. Uh, for one, he wants the fight to be at a catch weight of 143 or 144. Uh, Manny Pacquiao currently fights at the 147 pound weight limit of welterweight. Uh, Ryan Garcia, he fights at the 135 pound lightweight uh, limit. So with that said, Ryan Garcia does have a big frame. He's five foot 10, uh, 70 inch arm reach, you know, and he's only 22 years of age. So, um, Ryan Garcia's dad, who is his trainer and I believe his manager, he is stating that, you know, Manny Pacquiao is twice his age. And that they feel like this is their time to be able to, you know, uh, make their mark on the, in the sport of boxing and for their uh, legacies, right? So he stated that he believes that Manny Pacquiao is going to have trouble. They studied the Keith Thurman fight. Keith Thurman, a former unified WBC, WBA, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer. They studied Keith Thurman fight. They saw that Manny Pacquiao faded in the second half, in the back half of that fight. And they feel like their youth, their speed, their... Uh, power is going to be too much for Manny Pacquiao along with his size. So they want the fight to be at a catch weight of 143-144. Uh, so that's not truly in the middle. That is uh, 143 is eight pounds north for Ryan Garcia, and that would be four pounds south for Manny Pacquiao. Well, that actually would be around the same weight that Manny Pacquiao normally fights at because Manny Pacquiao, you know, um, is not the biggest guy. He's at five foot six, five foot five, with a sixty-seven inch arm reach, forty-two years old. So he's twice um, Ryan Garcia's age. Uh, he's Ryan Garcia is going to have, you know, nearly a five-inch height advantage over Manny Pacquiao. He's going to have a four-inch arm reach advantage over Manny Pacquiao. So uh, Ryan Garcia's dad, you know, uh, he's stating that um, this is what he wants in the contract. They want the fight to take place around um, April, May time. Uh, and they're looking forward to it, right? So he's stating that all parties involved have agreed to to the fight, uh, and they're just waiting to iron out a few minor details. So essentially, he stated that also Manny Pacquiao's title will not be on the line, uh, but it will be a 10-round exhibition bout, but it's going to be a real bout, right? He said that the sanctioned bodies are, are on board, the promoters are on board, everybody's on board, okay? So... Here's what he had to say, quote, everybody has agreed. All there is left are the details, minor details. He said, but both parties have already agreed. Promoters have agreed. Sanction bodies have agreed. So we're very close to uh, sealing the deal. We're going to know this week if everything goes through. We're negotiating today. They are already in discussions. This is what Henry Garcia said, father, trainer, and manager of Ryan Garcia. So they expect an announcement by the end of the week, right? So he says, uh, quote, I believe Ryan is ready for Manny, Manny Pacquiao, because when Ryan puts his mind to something, he's not going to back down. He's got all of the confidence in the world. When you have that confidence and motivation and the drive, you can focus on what's in front of you and you're most likely going to become victorious. So he's stating that Ryan Garcia has the confidence uh, to beat Manny Pacquiao, right? Um, <clears throat> So he says, Ryan likes to take control, and we understand that when Keith Thurman put pressure on Manny Pacquiao, he had a hard time fighting backwards. So now he's talking about, you know, the strategy and how they feel like the, the game plan, how they feel like they're going to beat Manny Pacquiao, okay? He says that Keith Thurman, uh, when pushing Manny Pacquiao backwards, Manny Pacquiao struggled. Well, that's no secret. We all know Manny Pacquiao struggles with pure boxers. The difference is Ryan Garcia doesn't have the foot speed 
the educated foot movement or the athletic ability of a Keith Thurman. He's actually the complete opposite. He's completely flat footed. Uh, he has slow feet and uneducated balance. Okay. So with that said, he states that, um, when you reach a certain age, you're no longer strong, uh, as you, as a 20 year old kid. So he's saying that Manny Pacquiao being twice Ryan Garcia's age is going to prove to be a problem for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, he says, uh, we stand a very good chance. He's 20 years old. He's 20 years younger than Pacquiao. And we feel that to, that's to our advantage. That's one of the things, that's one of the reasons why I feel it's a changing of the guard fight. It's our time. So he feels like this is the passing of the torch fight from Manny Pacquiao to Ryan Garcia. Oddly enough, it's Ryan Garcia because he, let's say he was to somehow be successful and beat Manny Pacquiao. He cannot compete with Errol Smith Jr. He cannot compete with Terrence Bud Crawford. He cannot compete with Sean Porter. He cannot compete with the young guns coming up, the Jerron Boots Ennises or the Virgil Ortiz Juniors, okay? That's just my opinion. Athletically, they're just far more superior. They're bigger. They're stronger. They're just better bosses, and they have more experience, okay? So uh, he says, uh, the contest may potentially end up being a 10-round exhibition, and uh, we would like a catch weight of 143. I like I like the fight at 143, and I love the fight to happen in April or May. This one is possible to be going down in Texas with, with fans surely to be in attendance. So they want the fight to take place in Texas in um, April or May. Now, one thing that's interesting about that is that Manny Pacquiao has fought at the AT&T Stadium, Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas, okay? Uh, and obviously, that's the home of undefeated, unified WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl Drew Smith Jr. It's a lot of uh, reports that it's possible that after this exhibition bout that Manny Pacquiao could possibly take on Errol Smith in a unification bout. Thus, the reason why they don't want Manny Pacquiao's title on the line should he not be victorious against Ryan Garcia. So, let's just read a little more into the details. He says, we don't have all the exact details or we can't disclose all of the exact details, okay? Uh, whether or not uh, the fight will be an exhibition bout or a real bout. He says, but we're looking at it as 10-rounder, but it's definitely going to be a real fight. That I do know, end quote. So he's saying that it's going to be a 10-round exhibition. Maybe Manny Pacquiao's belt won't be on the line, but it's definitely going to be an official boxing match. And he's saying the sanctioned bodies are on board. The promoters are on board. The fighters are on board. They're just trying to iron out the details. Like I stated he wants the fight to be at 143. He wants They want the fight to take place in Texas. Obviously, uh, they have to find a venue, and they want the fight to take place in April or May. So they have to find a venue uh, that's able to host the fight at that point in time. Um, also, they have to find you know um, the date, okay? So those are the little details that he's stating that they have to iron out. Uh, <clears throat> as far as, um, he says, as far as Manny Pacquiao's titles, uh, will it be up for grabs or not? That's that to be seen. He said, I don't think so. That's the direction we're heading down because no one wants to lose status, but they both want to fight each other. And that's the key. It's not bizarre. It's just two people who want to fight each other. Ryan's fighting a legend and Pacquiao's fighting a rising star. So it's not awkward at all. What I do know is both fighters want to fight each other and it's going to be a real fight. It's going to be a real fight. I can't, you know, uh, indicate that enough end quote from henry garcia um ryan garcia's father training manager uh he says ryan he also stated ryan garcia and Myers manny pacquiao always wanted to fight a legend before his time was up he wanted to fight someone of pacquiao's caliber so there so here's the chance and uh it definitely is, it looks like it's gonna happen so end quote so my thing is this when he states that both fighters my issue is this uh both fighters want this fight um Obviously, an exhibition about Manny Pacquiao has been out the ring since he last fought Keith Thurman. That was in July of 2019. So uh, it's almost it will almost be two years since the last time Manny Pacquiao graced the squared circle. So understandably that he's trying to, you know, get back in the swing of things and get an exhibition, a tuna fight, and then, you know, move into the fights with the big boys, the Errol Spencer's, Terrence Crawford to the world. OK, so with that said, you know, um, uh, Ryan Garcia didn't represent what we thought was going to be the option for Manny Pacquiao, okay? Uh, most people felt like 
Manny Pacquiao, because of the WBC reports that they informed Manny Pacquiao that if he did proceed forward with facing UFC legendary iconic superstar uh, Conor McGregor, that they were indeed looking to stripping him of the belt because he has yet to defend the belt and he's held it now for nearly two years against somebody in the top 10 ranking system of their sanction body. Every, all signs point to him fighting four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Mikey Garcia. With that said, he has turned his um, attention and his sights to another Mexican boxer, but Ryan Garcia has yet to fight for a world title. Ryan Garcia has yet to be a, become a world champion. Obviously, he's never even fought for a world title. He has had one lucrative fight in his entire career, and that was against uh, Luke Campbell, former Olympic gold medalist, uh, British superstar, lightweight title contender. Now, Luke Campbell has been in title uh, fights, but he is one. Of, he hasn't won a fight. He's lost to Lomachenko. He's lost to uh, Jorge Linares. So he's been in big fights, but he hasn't won them. Okay. Uh, so that was Ryan Garcia's biggest fight to date. So now it's looking like Manny Pacquiao at this point in time is trying to essentially uh, cash out, make as much money as possible. And I have no issue with that. Him being 42, him being an eight division world champion, so so much accomplishments he's accomplished. Uh, he's beaten so many legends. He's been in so many high profile fights. Uh, you cannot blame Manny Pacquiao. What I do hold against him is the fact that he is holding a sanctioned body, a title, a WBA title. And we're looking to get... And uh, in ho he's holding it against the ranking system, meaning that he's preventing unification bouts at this point in time. But like I said, maybe this is a step for Manny Pacquiao just to get his feet wet, exhibition bout, you know, get back in the swing of things, and then head into a, a big fight with a unification bout with Errol Spence Jr., okay, or Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford holds the WBA, Errol Spence holds the WBC and the IBF. So unification bouts and they're all big fights. So maybe that's the direction that Manny Pacquiao is going in. He did state that he wanted to fight Conor McGregor and then go into, uh, that's an exhibition style tune-up fight because Conor McGregor is a UFC fighter, not a boxer. So it kind of represents the same format. The issue, another issue is that Ryan Garcia has big fights in and around his own division and him moving up, it's going to be very difficult for him to come back down to 135. This, to me, is a sign that Ryan Garcia is going to go to junior welterweight, 140 pound limit for the duration of his career. He's not going to campaign at 135, okay? I can't see him trying to make 135 once again with the frame that he has. So, that's the details that's been laid out. Now we have to see how this all plays out. Ryan Garcia had big fights. He's the mandatory challenger for undefeated WBC lightweight world champion superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney. It seemed like a massive, big lucrative pay-per-view event was getting ready to take place between Ryan Garcia, undefeated two-division world champion, WBA 130-135 pound champion, simultaneously Javante Tank Davis, superstar boxer. But that has since went by the wayside. Now they're going to have to mix it up with one another, which is not a bad thing at all, because those are huge fights in itself. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But this to be a real fight, Manny Pacquiao with his power, he's not going to take it easy. Ryan Garcia is going to look to prove a point, but he leaves himself wide open. Manny Pacquiao being a southpaw, obviously with tons and tons of experience over Ryan Garcia. Power, speed, athletic ability. I can't see Ryan Garcia getting out this fight without at least getting dropped. But we got to see how it unfolds and plays out. That's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV or on Word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.